Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve equations using the TI-89 calculator. And this is a very powerful feature of the TI-89 that not a whole lot of people know about. So here, I'm just going to use a really simple example of a nice equation that we probably could solve by hand. But instead, let's see how the calculator handles this guy. So let's go ahead and grab our calculators. And I'm on the home screen. Now, before we actually get into the solving process, I want you to check something. Press your mode button and scroll all the way down until you get to the option that says exact slash approximate. Now, if you have the default setting, it is normally set to auto. What this means is that when it comes to displaying the solution to this equation, the calculator is going to decide whether it should be an approximate answer, say a decimal, or the exact answer involving, say, roots and fractions. Uh, just for this problem, I'm going to leave it as auto, but if you do want to force it as a decimal, press your right arrow, and you can select approximate. Or if you want to force the calculator to use fractions and roots and, you know, not round it to a decimal, then you can select the number two option, which says exact. All right, so I'm going to leave this as auto, and press enter, and get back to my home screen. Okay, so let's see how we can solve this equation. First, I need to find the solve command. If I look at my menu up top, the second one says algebra. So let's press our F2 and pull up our algebra options. The first one says solve, and it's already highlighted. So let's press enter to put solve on our screen. Now we want to enter our equation in. So five parentheses, x minus 1, close parentheses, plus 2x, and then here's your equals button, and 10. Now that's the entire equation, but we have to enter in just a little bit more. Put a comma, x, and then close the parentheses for solve. So now what this is telling the calculator to do is we're basically entering in the equation. The comma, x, tells it to solve for the variable x. Okay, and the parentheses at the very end is closing the parentheses next to solve. All right, we have everything we need. Let's go ahead and press enter and see the solution it returns. So according to the calculator, it says x is equal to 15 over 7. And there's our answer, just like that. Again, remember, if you want to force it to give you the decimal, you can change that by going to mode. Alright, if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.